Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a review of the Raptor Shears by Leatherman. The Leatherman Raptor Shears. Awesome product I've heard. Ended up buying them out of my own pocket. I am getting emails back and forth between me and uh, Vertex and with Leatherman. We might be collaborating together, so very excited about that. So, we're gonna do an unboxing video. It just got delivered about 20 minutes ago. I'm gonna go up front, check the mailbox, and grab that. Right now, I am outside testing my new microphone um, with this camera to see how it does in the wind. So, hopefully, it's good audio. We'll have to find out. Haven't edited this yet, obviously. So, testing out the new microphone to see how it does outside in the wind. A little windy, about 10 miles an hour. Um, the gusts are around 20 periodically, but out here testing this while I'm doing the chickens, getting the eggs, and giving them some more uh, hay, straw, whatever you want to call it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the chickens before we head in, and we'll get to the review. All right, here we have it, the chicken coop. I ended up moving into this house with my family in July of 2021, and we really wanted chickens and to get a chicken coop, so we're trying it out, and it has been a success so far. We have six chickens they are all in here in the coop or the run sorry oh, let me see if I can get the focus sorry I'm still learning with this camera it's a little finicky and focusing I'm not sure if it's operator air more than likely anyways chickens are in there doing pretty good pretty healthy while we're out here like I said testing out the camera I want to or the microphone, sorry, wanted to see how well it does and I had a few errands to do outside. Sorry, one second's a little hard with one hand. We ended up getting four eggs. I checked it this morning, we had three. So we have seven total for today so far, that's about average. But anyways guys, we got four eggs there. This is the chicken coop. All right guys, we're gonna head inside now and I'm gonna get down on the review table and I'm gonna show you the unboxing of the Leatherman Raptor Shears. Like I said, hopefully we can come to an agreement on doing reviews of their products with Vertex and Leatherman, but I'm still waiting on the email back. We've been talking for a couple, what was it, two, three days now? So hopefully they get back to me by Tuesday, Wednesday this week and I will let you guys know the deets, ah, man, it is good to be outside finally. I live up here in Michigan and we've been trapped inside all winter and I am over it. I am ready for warm weather. I'm sure anyone in the Midwest could understand that. Northern Midwest, that is. Well, actually everywhere, it's been cold a lot. Southern, nor Northern, Eastern, this winter's just been cold. And I'm about over it. I love winter, but man, I'm over it. I'm ready for a new summer. Anyways, the chicken coop. If you guys want more details on that or have any questions on it or want a video on the chicken coop and how I installed it, I don't have much footage. I don't think I have actually any footage of uh, me installing the chicken coop. But if you have any information, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And while you're at it, subscribe. This is a new channel, guys. Let's grow this together. Let's do it. Let's move the bells, let's move the likes and the subscribers upward. Another thing I wanna show you real quick while we're out here, some new updates of what happened last week. All right guys, I bought a new truck. Nah, I'm just joking. I've had this truck for almost four years now. But what is new with it is this ended up smashing my mirror my fender bumper headlight and grill nine thousand dollar estimate between two different body shops but luckily we have insurance so we'll be taken care of but man it sucks my baby is smashed up been driving around like this for about two weeks or a week now two weeks so next week we end up going back into the body shop and getting the rest of this work done and I can't wait. But anyways, I was 
since it was so nice this week and weekend here in Michigan, I was gonna do an EDC video on my truck. A lot of cool equipment and gear in this truck. I've been saving up a lot of money over the last three years and I've been just geeking this all out with goodies. But I don't wanna do a, a uh, EDC video on it yet until I know I'm ready for it and obviously I want to get it cleaned up a little bit more you know this damage get this all cleaned up I don't want to make an EDC video and have that bumper there hanging out like a snaggle tooth so anyways yeah that's the new update I have for you on that fun stuff that's the chicken coop down there so anyways enough of my talking and I'm sure you don't like looking at that either. Let's get down to this review table and take a look at the Leatherman Raptor shears. All right, here we have it. The Leatherman Raptor Rescue Shears. This is how it came in the mail. Nice box by Leatherman as always. So let's break it open. Leatherman Skeletool as you've seen if you have not seen this in action yet go ahead and check out the previous video of my EDC All right, let's see what's in here Here on top we have the instructions Don't need those all right, this is not bad. I don't know what I would really do with this. Um, I know some people like to put them on their uh, their visor in their vehicle, truck, car, SUV, overlanding, whatever you want to call it, their vehicle. Put it right on the bill and you have quick access to it. So it looks like it's being held on by this clip. So that clip right there. Looks like it has a little ridge to it. So it goes in, it's held in there. Pretty sturdy. Um, the clip or the holster, if you want to call it that, um, seems pretty durable. Doesn't seem like it's too cheaply made. Um, decent plastic on it. Th 3A on the back of it, whatever that is. If you know what that means, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. But yeah, the holster, um, the holder for the Leatherman shears, doesn't seem bad. I don't think I'll be using this. I'll probably have it in my, uh, in my get home slash EDC bag that I just did a video on. I do have it fully loaded. Um, doing a couple more things to it and then I'll be doing a video uh, for you guys on that but yeah that's the holster for it the box not much to it a little bit of cardboard actually I'll probably use this to chop it up and see how well the shears do then the outside shell so yeah let's get rid of this Here we have it. This is the shears all folded up. This is the clip for it. If you want to put it in your pocket. All right, real quick, since we're on the clip part of it, I'm going to take my Leatherman Skull tool out. Now I'm going to show you and see how well this is what it looks like when it's opened up then it's got a just kind of like a knife it's locked so it's not gonna fold back in on you but it has these little lock mechanisms here so you open it up and you push it here I think you gotta do the black side first you push it and it folds in so let's try this out real quick. I'm, I don't think I'm going to be using it for my EDC other than in my bag. Um, but 
I do like the clip. I don't mind how it looks, but I really don't want this as a everyday carry. I mean, I just want it there for if I need it, like on the gun range. Basically just keeping it in my EDC bag slash get home bag that I did a previous video on. If you have not seen that video of the unboxing and description uh, review on the Gamut Vertex, go ahead and look at that video. It's a pretty good video. But yeah, um, I don't mind how, the, how it feels in the pocket. Um, it doesn't feel too big I mean I barely know it's there kind of like my uh, Leatherman uh, Skeletool here in comparison obviously it's a little bigger a little thicker the thickness isn't much different really so yeah the thickness of it but the, the length the shears are a little longer um, and a little wider, but the thickness is relatively the same. So me having my Leatherman on me all the time, and these are actually Carhartt jeans. I'm actually going to do a review just on my Vertex um, pants that I got. Amazing pants, but I only have three pair as of now, and they're all dirty because I've been wearing them all. And I really don't mind these Carhartt jeans. Once in a while, I like to pull out the blue jeans. But anyways, I don't have an issue carrying this. I barely know it's there. I always forget my Leatherman Skull tools on me. Taking that out and putting the shears in, if you wanted to carry it on your person every day, I don't really... I, I don't feel it's there. It doesn't feel too thick. Obviously, it's the same thickness as my Leatherman Skeletool, but it just, it's like I said, it's a little wider. These are a little bit wider in the handles here, so it makes it more difficult to get my hands in there, it seems. So you're just scratching the side of your, uh, your hand here going in. If you need to reach for change or your wallet, I always keep it on the opposite side of my wallet here. But, yeah, it just it, it's uncomfortable sliding your hand in there. So I'm sure you can put it in your back pocket or other pockets on your uh, pants. But if you wanted it here, it, it doesn't feel good sliding your hand in here. You're getting it caught right in here. You're basically rubbing your hand in there, and it, it doesn't feel that great. So that little rigidness right here. So, yeah, I, I would not be carrying it in my pocket. Um, I'm going to stick to my Leatherman uh, Skeletool multi-tool right there. This is easy. It doesn't, it's, the width is not that big. I can still get my hand in there without scraping it up. So that's nice. Obviously my Vertex pants, I have um, this here or in my other pocket, my mag pocket, I'll have this there. And I'll also have my other flashlight in the little pocket down below here. Those of you that don't know Vertex Pants, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, so stay tuned for that video on the review of the pants. But anyways, back to this. I would not carry this in my front pocket. This would stay in a Molly area, um, somewhere in a bag or somewhere in your truck so when you need it, or your, med, your medical bag, um, so when you do need it, you have it. So anyways... Let's get back to the review table down here and get a closer look at it. So let's open these up now. So fully closed, the way I've been doing it the last few minutes is just opening it like this. So yeah, it's it's a little weird how they open and close. Um, they don't seem cheap, it seems like a good steal. So the stats I have that I can remember, it's a 420 HC stainless steel and it weighs about 5.8 ounces the shear length is 1.9 inches here so the shear length is 1.9 inches and close length is 5 inches and I believe 
that I read that this plastic here, um, when I was reading on online on the specs, said glass filled nylon handle scales. Um, so whatever that means, I'm not sure if this is like a type of uh, glass, but it seems like plastic to me, but I could be wrong. So you got the scissors here, the shears. It has a ruler on it. It says Leatherman Raptor right here, rescue. Um, right here on the ruler it goes up to five centimeters. It's showing made in USA. Sorry, I'm trying to get the camera to focus. So yeah, not bad looking. I kind of like the orange. I wanted the orange and the black. You can get mul multiple colors uh, selected on them. So when you close them, these uh, little locking points here, you can't fold it up without pushing those in. So I'll try to get to focus on that. So when you want to close them and fold them back up, they're locked. You push that in, and that folds in. And then you got to go to the orange handle side and push it in, just like a knife. And then it all folds in nicely compact like that. And then you would grab your holster if you were going to use this. And uh, you got to have the clip out here. But I will not be using that, like I said. But yeah, it doesn't seem cheap. Um, seems like good metal. So opening them back up again. So you got the clip here. Which is, seems like a nice pocket clip. I like how it bends in there so it doesn't, it's not loose. If that was straight, sorry, if, that, if this was straight without that shot going down right there and back up, you would have it loose in your pocket. It would be sliding around. If you bent over um, extremely, you could be dropping it out of your pocket. Or if you're upside down or laying down, it could possibly come down. But that gives it enough, enough give there to keep it in position on your pants. Um, so yeah, I don't mind the clip. I like that clip, but I want to be I'd be clipping it to something in my my backpack Like I said, I want to be clipping that Putting it in my pocket like I just uh, showed you I just I don't like the the width of it Not being able to put my hand in there with this in there just made it very uncomfortable scratching the side of my hand um, Very sharp so highly advised to be careful. I can just tell it, It's very very sharp. I mean, I've heard people cutting a lot of different things on this, so it's 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 pretty sharp. So, yeah, it seems pretty nice. You have your seatbelt cutter here, and it looks like um, that has a locking position on it as well. So obviously if you have this in your visor and you needed to break loose your seatbelt, cut it off, you would extend that out and you would sit there and rip it off. So yeah, that's a nice feature too. I know a lot of people that buy them just for that. Um, to put that back, your seatbelt cutter back in, you have another lock right here, just like a knife, like I said. You push that in, then it folds back in if you want to back out you can hear it lock to release it you push down here fold it back in so that's pretty cool it's a nice seat belt cutter uh, what else do we have here you have a a hole here for uh, a lanyard which I do not plan on using that ever but it's not the bulge on it is not extreme and unnecessary like other items would have for a lanyard. For example, like I described in my EDC video, my wallet here. Love this wallet, the Trayvax. This this is a cool, cool wallet. Trayvax Armored Wallet, stone gray. This is a very cool wallet. Um, I really like this wallet, but the lanyard on it, this little ridge here, 
so it's pretty pretty squared off and rounded all the way around and then you get up to here and it's just that bulge love the wallet but I really wish they did away with this the lanyard I, I don't understand why they have it there but I'm sure everyone has their you know different views on it. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that like it but I just wish they got rid of that because if you have it down in your pocket and you bend over you're having this stick into your thigh so that's kind of a nuisance but like I said it's not as extreme of a bulge like this is how that sticks out see that sticks out that much this does not it kind of it rounds itself right into right into the uh, finger grips here so that's nice that that doesn't bother me that there. it's a good option and they they didn't make it so so big to where it bulges out I couldn't imagine having it out to here you know it's, it would be unnecessary but anyways um, yeah Trayback's wallet um, if you are interested in this wallet it is uh, more information on it in my EDC video in my last video so anyways yeah you got the lanyard you got the seatbelt cutter and right here you have the uh, glass breaker that is also not very not very extreme so uh, it's not in the way of anything it's it, it's not so aggressive of a point to where it's gonna you know interfere with anything and when it's closed when these are closed if I can close them there we go when it's closed it's down in your pocket so you put it in your pocket and it's down below when you bend over it's not so extreme to where it's gonna puncture your thigh at all but so that's cool that's not a big deal so cool glass breaker you got your lanyard if you if that's your thing glass breaker seat belt cutter and then you push the release and fold it back in um, and I believe that's it very cool though I, I been waiting to get a pair of these and I finally pulled the trigger on it so these will be going in my uh, EDC bag everyday carry bag with you know my get home supplies so yeah pretty cool so let's now put these down and grab a couple items here and see what it can do I just grabbed some items um, out of my house that I don't use and that's just sitting in a drunk drawer so we have stores up here in the Midwest called Target. Um, not sure if you guys are familiar with that. If you're up in the Midwest, I'm sure you do. They have a off-brand of cases. This is a Heyday case. It's kind of plastic with silicone, it seems like. The edges seem like plastic and the rest is silicone. Velvet backing here. Pretty durable case, but we're going to go ahead and cut this up and see what it does. Yeah, it's a clean cut. Very, very easy. So yeah, that wasn't, didn't take much effort there to uh, cut through that. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a plastic, a thin plastic here with um, silicone backing. But yeah, it's a little thin plastic there. Very easy cut. All right, next we'll do some simple cardboard. Just a cardboard case to a screen protector from years ago. Go ahead and cut this a few times, see what happens. I know this sounds stupid, but you know, some people like to see it actually work. So that's what I'm gonna do and show you that it works. Just like ordinary scissors, but very sharp with different accessories on so you got the cutting shears if you don't need those you have your glass breaker and right here you have your seat belt cutter very cool it feels good in the hands obviously I'm getting three fingers over here I'm right-handed getting three fingers here got the thumb over here feels good in the hand looks like I can get good control of it so yeah, it's a 
cool little thing. It will take you a little bit to get used to. Just mess around with it for a little bit. It will take a little bit to get used to folding this up. I mean, what I've done it like four or five times now. So I'm going to see if I can do it this time. So you grab it. You're ready to fold it up and put it away in your holster. Push here. You fold it in. And then you fold here. Yeah, you can get a good grip on it here as well. If you need to smash that window. And obviously, you know, you're not going around breaking people's windows, but say someone got in a car accident and you need to rescue them and you can't get in there. You don't want to go around looking for rocks and bricks and stones to throw through the window. You have this pop, you got in. Say you got into a lake, you're in the water, you have nothing to break and you need to get out before the car goes down. You have this in your visor, pop, you can get out of your window. If you can't get through your seatbelt, boom, you have your seatbelt cutters here. So, yeah, it's just one of those things. Uh, I mean, obviously, if you need to throw a tourniquet on somebody and get their clothing cut off of them, you know, you'll have them there. You can get through pretty much anything. I'm pretty sure these cut pennies, which next I'm actually going to try. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to cut this a little bit more, see. If, uh... I feel like a child, arts and crafts time. I'm just making a mess. All right, let's get rid of that. All right, next we have, sorry, we got the holster there. Some plastic zip ties, which obviously isn't going to be a problem with this. But you never know. You know, it doesn't just have to be for medical uses. It can be for anything, really. When shit hits the fan, you ain't going to be like, oh, these are my medical shears. I can only use them for medical. That's nonsense. You're going to be using them for whatever you need them for. So obviously, like we predicted, it's not going to have an issue. So get rid of this mess. Get rid of that. What do we got here? We got a penny. That's the true test. Can this cut through this penny? Real penny. Not fake. This penny is a 1978. All right. So zinc, zinc penny. All right, let's go ahead and give it the test here. Sorry if I'm not focused. I can barely uh, see my camera right now. So it's going to take a little bit of strength here. Hmm. It can cut through the penny. It's all a matter of how you have it on the angle before it folds. There we go. Be careful where your fingers placed if you do this. And can you see it? We're getting through. Say we're three quarters of the way through, and there it is. I will go grab it. And there's the penny in half. So yeah, it can cut through pennies. It is no longer a myth. Pretty cool. I am a penny pourer now. Anyways, yeah. So we did the penny test. We did a phone case. We did some basic cardboard. We did plastic zip ties. Let's see if we can cut through this tin. Just a basic cover to a tin. So yeah. Cut through the tin very easily. Not very thick tin, but you can cut through it. Very cool. So it can cut through tin, cardboard, paper, plastic, zip ties, penny. Now, uh, what else can we cut? And the other part of the zip tie. Very cool little gadget. These things are nice. 
pretty impressed. They have them pre-oiled. I can see a little bit of oil here. So probably get rusty if you don't. So I'd probably try to oil it once in a while. I'm not sure. It doesn't say anything in the instructions about maintenance on them. I'm not sure if you can resharpen these or not. Um, I don't plan on I don't plan on using these unless of an emergency. So they'll just be sitting in my uh, my go bag, my get home bag. So yeah, let's try one more thing while we're here. Okay, these are just basic jeans. These are Carhartt jeans, relaxed fit. It's an old pair. I'm missing a button and they shrunk and that is another reason why these were my go-to jeans my pants these Carhartt relax fit brown they look brown they're darker at one time but they fade I've had these for less than a year and after going to this is my reasoning why I'm going to vertex um, yeah they're expensive but you get what you pay for. These are expensive as well. I mean, they go for around 50 bucks. So I've always bought in these, but after you wash these so many times, going through the washer, one, they're gonna fade. So these are a lot lighter. You can't really tell on camera, but these are very light brown now. Um, so my button popped off right here. It's just normal wear and tear, you know. Um, one day I took my jeans, these jeans out of the dryer and the button was missing. So it just fell right through. Stitching wasn't the greatest on it. Um, I love these pants, but the problem is not even the button. It's the fact that they fade so easily. All of them, I've gone through like 10 pairs of these over the years. It's the fading of the pant and the fact that they shrink. So these right here are 34 by 32. I'm originally 32 33 in uh, waist um, but I had to bump it up to a 34 because if I wanted to make these last a couple years they'll shrink down to a 33 32 more say 33 but 32 will work but I like to go 33 if you can find them but these are 34s and they shrunk in a year so that's that's why I kind of went to vertex or more stretchy material more comfy they're stretchy everywhere I don't want to talk too much on it because I'm going to do a future video on that. It might be my next video or two videos from now. I got a lot of a lot of content coming out. So make sure you stay tuned and get subscribed because there's going to be a lot of videos coming out. Um, but yeah, anyways, back to our shears. Sorry, I keep forgetting not to ramble on in my videos. So we have basic jeans here. Say someone got shot in the leg. Okay, we got the pant here. Their foot's over here, okay? So their foot's over here, and they got a gunshot wound, and you wanna cut this up and get a tourniquet on them. So you're gonna get your shears out, and you're gonna try to go over here and access that wound. So let's see how well these cut through. I mean, just a little bit right there, just literally an eighth of an inch, just barely even touching it. So let's get in there. Say the wound's up here, and we want to access it as fast as possible without cutting them up. Boom. We have access to the wound now. So yeah, these... And yeah, and these aren't stretchy by any means. No wonder why they shrink. Man, just looking at these jeans, I love them. But I love Vertex more. They're Vertex pants. I'll pay $80 for a pair of pants any day of the week by Vertex. Just amazing pair of pants. But yeah, it doesn't, it goes right through it. No problem. No issue at all. Even fold it up. Let's fold it up a few times. Maybe it's a real thick pant. No issues. Very cool product. I like it. So, yeah, so looks like you got to start with the black side first, whatever that might be. Not everybody's going to get the orange and the black, but yeah, it looks like I got to do the black, fold it in, flip it over, fold in that orange. But a very cool shear. I like them. 
just like I said, it's going to take a little bit for you guys to get used to this. It's taken me a little bit. Definitely when your adrenaline's going and you're trying to fold these up afterwards, you're going to be like, what in the world is going on? But these things are cool. I like them. The way they feel, the way they look, they don't seem cheap or flimsy by any means. Like I'm bending them right now. Sorry, my face is right in this microphone. I'm sorry if I'm making you guys go deaf. But yeah, it's not flimsy. It's it's not bending. It doesn't seem like it's going to break. And so, yeah, very cool product. Leatherman really knows what they're doing. And like I said previously, like I said previously, I'm working with a couple guys over there um, with Vertex and Leatherman, and um, I should begin an email back soon and see if we can collaborate together and get some more products sent over. And I don't care what the product is. I said, you know, just if you send it out, I'll do an honest review on it, what I think. Let me uh, let me mess around with the product a little bit and see how well I like it, and I will give it a shot. And um, my reviews will be honest, just like this is an honest review. I, I purchased this with my own money. Um, like I said, the one thing I don't care for is lanyards. I mean, everyone has their own opinion on those, just like everything else, but I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't necessarily say I'd change anything else on it. Um, I'm pretty sure I've heard other people talk um, that these grips here, these little um, mold injected uh, plastic up here, uh, if you want to call it that, have a purpose for like um, for an oxygen tank. But I, I don't. I'm not a medic. I'm not in the medical field. My wife is, but I, I'm not sure what these are. Or what they were saying I watched in a previous video on these online but they're at like an oxygen tank opener or something on those on those lines so um, I'd say look into that if that's necessary for you but I'm not gonna be using it for that these will just be sitting in my bag if I needed to cut clothing off and get a tourniquet on somebody that's been injured or um, you know a seat belt cutter here or the glass breaker right here so yeah this is it guys these are the leatherman raptor rescue shears very cool product i think i'm getting it down now very cool holster right here lines up with the clip holds it in there right here yeah pretty cool don't think i'll be using this if i put it on my visor i will be but if i'm going to be putting it in my go bag i'll put it on the molly obviously and i'll put the clip right into the molly boom it'll just be hanging there next to my medical bag so yeah once again it's the leatherman raptor rescue shears 420 hc stainless steel weighs 5.8 ounces the shear length is 1.9 i believe if i remember correctly it's 1.9 inches i believe i said this previous in the video at the beginning Closed length is five inches and it has that glass filled nylon handle scales. I believe that's what they're talking about in here. And also I believe it has a 25 year warranty if I am not mistaken. So a very cool product. If uh, Leatherman is watching this again, make sure you email me back. Don't forget about me. We've had a good conversation. Let's keep it going. Let's collaborate together and let me do some reviews on your products. Anyways. Everyone else, we are up to, I believe, 19 subscribers now. I checked earlier, so keep the momentum up. Let's get this going, and thank you to those 19 subscribers. Obviously, I did something right to have 19, and the other 1,000 people that have watched the videos must not have liked me. So let's, let's go ahead and keep that momentum going. Go ahead, if you like this video, leave a likes up or a thumbs up, sorry. And let's also get that notification bell rung so you can be reminded when I release the next video. So, all right guys, take care.